my name's Megan. Um, I study sport and exercise science. I do, yes. Um, I wasn't originally um, on campus, like living on campus. So when I first came, um, I went for, uh, I think, Refreshers Week. And I had a friend who went to university as well, who went from my school. Um, and she introduced me to her flatmates and it was really nice to kind of meet them and um, explore, explore the campus with them. So it was really good fun and it was very pretty. <laughs> You got to experience lots of practical sessions. Um, I remember one session uh, we were asked to do a test in a heat chamber and see the difference between exercising in normal temperature and extreme heat, which was amazing. So you got to try the things that um, our lecturers would try on high performance athletes. Oh, uh, I always had my laptop. Um, I had uh, a notebook and pen and I also had a snack because some lectures could get incredibly boring so it's good to have something to pass the time. <laughs> uh, I graduated in 2018. I was a part of Whitelands. did. Uh, her name was uh, Dr. Siobhan Strike. Ooh. It's expanded my knowledge um, on the body um, and it helps me because I um, teach a lot of gymnastics so it's helped me understand the athletes that I'm coaching um, a lot better um, and how, they, how the body works when they're doing such difficult skills. Oh God, everything. <laughs> I miss the social life. That was the best part. I mean, most people go to university for the social life as well as the degree. And I definitely did. And uh, Brahampton offered everything that I could have asked for. Uh, well, I technically didn't at first. Um, I went through clearing um, and it was between Brahampton and Brighton. Um, Brighton the campus that I would have been on was the Eastbourne one and it was not the life that I wanted. I wanted to be in the centre of London and have all of the lifestyle around and the social aspect of it all. Um, and the course seemed better, so I chose Roehampton. Oh, if they drink um, some form of alcohol, it's a good opener for when they're um, in Freshers' Week. Um, Lots of mugs and cups because they go missing. Um, and, ooh, something exciting to put on their wall to make their halls uh, feel like home. First year, I'd say eye-opening. And then second year, I would say uh, enduring and then third year incredible. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>